hello students welcome to the lecture series on the digital marketing subject so before we start for the actual digital marketing topic let us try to understand what is marketing so to understand the concept of marketing we should know what is market market is a customer or a group of customers so market is a place or a situation of scope for selling products or services a market is a place where buyers and sellers can meet to facilitate the exchange or transaction of goods and services markets can be physical like a retail outlet or a virtual like an e retailer other examples include the black markets auction markets and the financial markets markets establish the prices of goods and services that are determined by the supply and the demand now let us try to understand the exact terminology of marketing what is marketing marketing is an act of effectively promoting products or services for sale by which the right amount of profit can be gained marketing is a management process responsible for identifying anticipating customers needs profitability now let us see two different pictures on the screen now one picture this the picture at the left side indicates the static sale now the person who is selling the products he is standing statically he is not doing any efforts to sell that particular product so that is that type of sale is called as a static sale and the person at the right side he is doing some efforts means he is displaying uh, the product he is talking something about the product and third he has given some offer also on his product so this type of activity is known as sale with marketing so to sell the product we need to do some activity extra we, are, we need to take some extra efforts to sell some products grabbing the attention of customers by different ways is a part of effective marketing now on this slide we can see two different pictures at the left side the person uh, who is an announcer so he is announcing something with the help of the musical instrument that is a drum okay so uh, the person uh, this particular person is known as a drummer by hitting the drum or playing the drum he attracts the attention of audience and then he gives some information about some activity or some event or some product so this is one way to uh, communicate with the customers or with the audience now the second way to communicate with the people is to hold the product in the hand and uh, we can travel in the marketplace by uh, talking something about or uh, uh, means telling some telling the people about that particular product so that is called as a means that particular person who do this activity is known as an hawker okay so we can find so many people uh, in the marketplace they sell their products by this particular technique then now let us try to understand different elements of marketing so for the marketing first we need some product or service okay so without the product or service uh we cannot do any type of marketing okay so the first uh, element of the marketing is the product and the services 
then the second uh, element is branding okay so we should give some attractive name or title to our product so that people can get attracted then we we can uh, create a attractive package uh, design then we can use some attractive colors uh, for the package and we can create some logo so all those things uh, comes under the branding uh, step okay so the proper branding of that particular product or service uh, is essential for the marketing then we have to decide the proper price of our product or service so it comes under the pricing step okay so this is the very important factor or element of our marketing pricing so so that we should uh, get uh, the sufficient profit from that after the sale then for the marketing we need to do some planning or we need to uh, have some strategy means how we are going to sell that product that is that comes under the strategy part then uh, after that we have to do some publicity all the advertisement part comes under this publicity so with different ways we can <coughs> do the publicity of our product or service then some research is required uh, for the marketing in this we can do some research uh, for, for the prospective buyers to whom we are going to sell our product in which particular geographical area we are going to sell our product so uh, that is to uh, which uh age limit means who the customer who, who is that uh, targeted uh, audience for our product so all those uh, all these research uh, work is done under this research uh, part then for the marketing we have to create some public relations the public relation is very important part of marketing so that we can create an effective network for the sale of the product and finally the sale uh, the actual sale of uh, the product or service that also comes that is the last part of the marketing process so all these things comes under the marketing okay then let us try to understand very important quote that the quality of the product itself is an advertisement means suppose if you want to do the effective marketing of our uh, product we should ensure that the quality of the product is best so if the quality of the product or services is good then uh, the marketing process becomes very easy and uh, with the mouth publicity or with uh, the customers feedback uh, our product or service it gets marketed easily so uh, we should ensure that the quality should be good now students let us try to understand what is digital marketing digital marketing includes all marketing efforts that use an electronic device or the internet businesses leverage digital channels such as search engine social media email and other websites to connect with current and prospective customers digital marketing or e marketing or electronic marketing refers to the application of marketing principles and techniques via electronic media and more specifically the internet now let us try to understand uh, different types of digital marketing basically the digital marketing is categorized in two main parts the first part is offline digital marketing and second part is online digital marketing so in offline digital marketing the first part is enhanced offline marketing in which uh the publicity of the product or services is done by the help of electronic billboards 
Now, what is electronic billboard? It is a display board which is displayed in a public places. Then the digital product demos, in which all the products or services are demonstrated for the public for the effective sale of that particular product. Then the product sample, in which free samples of that product or service says is distributed among the people and uh, by that we can ensure uh, the uh, sale in the future. Then the second part is radio marketing in which the first part is radio commercials means different types of advertisements which are broadcast on the radio with the channel of the radio. Then show sponsoring in which the product company can sponsor different types of radio shows and by which we can create uh, a goodwill amongst uh, the people uh, for the purpose of marketing. Then the third part of the offline digital marketing is television marketing in which uh, we can create different types of TV commercials means different types of advertisements are created for the promotion of the product. Then daily shopping. These are different types of special shows in which the products are, or services are promoted through the daily shopping and we can demonstrate the product to directly to the public uh, through the TV channel and we can offer uh, the best price uh, for the sale of that product. Then sponsoring events. So on television, different types of shows are there or events are uh, telecasted or there are different types of TV serials. So the product companies can sponsor those programs and with that they can create the goodwill amongst the people or the customers. Then the fourth part of the offline digital marketing is phone marketing in which we can promote our product or services with the help of the phone. So directly uh, we can use the phone for the commercial calls. It means that we can call the customer and we can uh, promote uh, the product by using that particular call. And we can give the information about the product or services. So that is the very popular uh, way of uh, doing the offline marketing. Then we can send different types of text messages through the SMS service, uh, which can be an advertisement of our product. Then we can use some QR code. Uh, the QR code is nothing but a quick response course uh, by which we can connect with the customers directly for the sale of the product or services. So all these things comes under the offline digital marketing. Now in online digital marketing where directly the internet is used for the marketing purpose. So in which there are different types of parts. The first part is search engine optimization. So which is very popularly known as SEO. Then search engine marketing. So after that, the content marketing. So we are going to learn about the content marketing uh, in detail uh, in a special topic, which, uh, uh, which is content marketing uh, in the next few lectures. Then the social media marketing. So for this also, we have uh, separate lectures for this social media marketing. Then the another part is uh, called as paper click advertising means PPC. So this is also very popular method of advertising in which the advertiser has to pay only for the clicks means this is very uh, good advantage for uh, 
the marketing company also and for the service provider also so this is uh, uh, the new way of creating the advertising then the affiliate marketing in which uh, we get the commission for the promotion of the product so uh, this is also uh, we can call it as a commission marketing and email marketing in which uh, we can use uh, the email service for promoting uh, the product or services so all these things comes under the digital marketing so we are going to learn each and everything in uh, detail step by step now let us try to understand what is billboard so uh, the billboard is nothing but a normal poster or uh, the display material which is displayed in a public place but nowadays means uh, uh, in ancient days different types of uh, printed posters were used for advertising nowadays also we we can see different types of uh, uh, banners flex banners or uh, billboards on the railway station or uh, different parts of the cities in public places okay so electronic billboard is uh, a device in which we can display our product uh, by using some visual uh, graphics okay an electronic billboard is a billboard that displays digital images that are changed by a computer every few seconds so that uh, if there is some change uh, on the display what happens uh, the attention of the public is attracted towards that and it is a very effective way for the advertising the product okay so uh, it is in uh, all the metro cities you will find these types of uh, electronic billboards now for the marketing purpose product sample is a very uh, effective way product sample is a well known marketing technique to encourage trial recruit new customers and drive sales consumers are fond of free samples they like to have the free samples of the product okay uh, there is one very popular trend uh, which is called as the try before you buy trend is uh, developing in a growing number of industries consumer claim and want to verify the benefits of the product for themselves before spending their money so people like to have the free samples for the product or they have to they, they need to try that product first and then uh, they can buy that product okay so product sampling does not only have an impact on the consumers who tasted the product it also contributes to the word of mouth means we can have the advantage of mouth publicity so the consumers are likely to tell other about the new products they have experienced so we get the advantage of mouth publicity for the product free product sample distribution is very effective tool of conventional offline marketing but it has its own constraints of limited access to the number of customers okay so uh, means we have some limitations for this type of marketing this, because uh, we cannot distribute uh, the free samples for in a large quantity so uh, there are some limitations for the free sampling now let us try to understand what is seo seo stands for search engine optimization in simple terms it means the process of improving our website to increase its visibility when people search for the products or services related to our business in google or other search engines the better visibility our pages have in search results the more likely we are to get attention and attract prospective and existing customers to our business now how does uh, seo work search engines 
such as Google or uh, another search engines, they use bots to crawl pages on the web, going from site to site, collecting information about those pages and then putting them in an index. For example, in a giant library where a librarian can pull up a book to help us to find exactly what we are looking for at the time. I mean, suppose when we enter some uh, very big library, so we are we, we uh, there are chances to get get confused. So uh, we cannot find the exact book which we want. So in that case, the librarian who is an expert in that particular field, he or she helps us uh, to find the exact book. So we, what we can uh, do, we can give some information to the librarian that I want this type of information. So uh, depending on that particular information, librarian uh, can find a exact book for us. So algorithms analyze page in index taking into account hundreds of ranking factors or signals to determine the order pages should appear in the search results for given query. Okay, so in the similar way, the search engine works. Okay, in our library example, the librarian has read every single book in a library and can tell us exactly which one will have the answer to our questions. So in this way, uh, the search engine works. Search engine optimization is a fundamental part of digital marketing because people conduct trillions of searches every year, often with commercial intent to find information about products and services. Search is often the primary source to digital traffic for brands and complements other marketing channels. However, the search results have been evolving over the past few years to give users more direct answers and information that is more likely to keep users on the result page instead of driving them to other websites. Search engine optimization is a process of improving the visibility of website or web page on a search engine result page that is called as a SERP so as to make a company's website more discoverable that is on the first page of the search engine thereby driving the traffic and sales. Search engine optimization often uh, involves the concerted efforts of multiple departments within an organization, including the design, marketing, and content production teams. While some SEO work entails business analyze, analysis, for example, comparing one's content with competitors, a sizable part depends on the ranking algorithm of various search engine which may change with the time. Nevertheless, a rule of thumb is that website and the web pages with the higher quality content, more external referral links and more uh, user engagement will rank higher on the SERP that is search engine result page. Now let us try to understand different types of phases which are there uh, in the SEO process. The search engine optimization process includes six general phases. The first phase is the research, including business research, competitor analysis, then current uh, state assessment and the keyword searching. This type of research is required for the search engine optimization. Then the second phase is planning and strategy, including decisions on how to handle the content, build links to the website, 
मैनेज सोशल मीडिया प्रेजेंस एंड टेक्निकल इंप्लीमेंटेशन स्ट्रैटेजीज द थर्ड फेज इज इंप्लीमेंटेशन वेर द ऑप्टिमाइजेशन डिसीजन ऑन अ साइट वेब पेजेस एंड वेबसाइट एज द होल आर एग्जीक्यूटेड देन मॉनिटरिंग इज द नेक्स्ट फेज वेर द एक्टिविटी ऑफ वेब स्पाइडर्स traffic search engine rankings and other metrics are observed for producing reports on which assessment will be performed the next phase is assessment in uh, involving checking the summarized effects of the strategy and its implementation against the search engine optimization processes stated targets then the last phase is maintenance where both minor and major problems with the website's operations are handled as they arise for example new content that needs optimization according to the strategy now let us try to understand what is search engine marketing so search engine marketing is a paid activity by search engine provider for example uh when you will uh, use some search engine for let's say google you will find some paid content on that paid advertisements so that is called as a search engine marketing so there are different types of steps which are involved in search engine marketing so those steps are conducting keyword research and select a set of keywords related to their website or product the second stage is selecting a geographic location for the advertisement to be displayed within the third step is creating a text based advertisement to display in a search result uh, then uh, bid or negotiate on a price they are willing to pay for each click on the advertisement what is content marketing we are going to Uh, understand this particular uh, technical term in detail in uh, next few lectures but let us try to understand the concept of content marketing content marketing is the creation and distribution of digital marketing collateral with the goal of increasing brands awareness improving search engine rankings and generating audience interest businesses use content marketing to nurture leads and enable sales by using sites uh, analytics keyword research and targeted strategy recommendations so this is the concept of content marketing now there is one another technical term used in the digital marketing that is uh, affiliate marketing so affiliate marketing is nothing but the commission based marketing so affiliate marketing is a process of earning money or commissions every time you promote a company's product or services and drive a sale you only get paid every time you drive a sale just like a commission only sale representative so uh, this type of marketing uh, is nothing but a commission based marketing now let us try to understand very important concept in uh, online digital marketing that is pay per click which is popularly known as ppc so pay per click is an internet advertising model used to drive traffic to website in which an advertiser pays a publisher typically a search engine or website owner or a network of websites when the ad is clicked so in this particular model when the user clicks on the advertisement only that time the company uh, or advertising advertiser has to pay to the service provider so it is beneficial for the advertiser also and to the service provider also and uh, it helps to the uh, affiliated ma affiliation market marketer also means uh, it helps to the agent also to get the commission for that particular advertising so this is a very beneficial thing in the uh, online marketing 
so pay per click is commonly associated with a first tier search engine such as google ads amazon advertising microsoft advertising so with uh, search engines advertisers typically bid on the keyword phrases relevant to their target market and pay when the ads are clicked so here we have to pay only when the user is clicking on the advertisement okay so that is the benefit okay so uh, this was all about uh, the introduction of the digital marketing subject so in next few lectures we will be uh, watching different types of uh, elements which are related to the digital marketing so uh, for this lecture uh, this is over thank you very much